how amazing was it to celebrate Jerusalem Day here with explosions uh, and bombs and missions and uh, here in the south, here in, I'm right outside Gaza now. But, uh, you know, we were driving on a road called, the Jer renamed the Jerusalem Road. I think it used to be called Salahadin, Saladin, or something like that. And, uh, and I'm just like, it's so, what a history. You know, when you think of, of Israel, and those who have gone before, we're part of a continuum, we're part of a journey doing our, our part to defend the defenseless. And, you know, but I'm looking forward to celebrating Shavuot, Pentecost, you know, and hope I'm about to be able to get out on a small break, but Pentecost, Shavuot, that means the Feast of Weeks. How many weeks? Seven weeks, you know? And uh, the last day, very important day, we believe the Torah was given on Shavuot, on Pentecost, on Mount Sinai in the desert. And, and it's all about coming together, coming together in that unity, that one accord together. And, and that's what Israel's all about. I think of the names of the cities here in the South. You know, I'm really getting to know the South a lot more. I'm from the Galilee. Um, getting to know the South, you think of Kerem Shalom. Right? The vineyard of peace. Whereas on the other side, you got names like Islam Jihad, Hamas, Izzalil al Qassam, the Nukba, you know, and you got all the, the Al Shabiba. You have I'm all Islam these different lion's den, uh, you know, death, destruction. And you think just the, the mindset of bringing everyone together. And, and that's what Israel's all about. It's not what it's all about over in Gaza, but it needs to be about that. The, the mindset needs to change. thinking of these, these chants, like, uh, um, no Hamas, no Jihad, taking hostage, jizz is bad. They need some good chants. They've been, these college students got bad chants. So, you know, last night we had one of those eventful nights, well, eventful nights and early mornings, you know, and we're over there, this tunnel entrance, oh, similar like this, tunnel entrance in Rafah, Southern Gaza. There's hundreds of tunnels. There are hundreds of tunnels. And so there we are, we had a technical, we had a mechanical issue, we were stranded there, and uh, we had to get out of there, but uh, That's the it was, right you there. need proper tools, let me tell you, when you have a proper Come tool on, to do a job, it's so much better. If you feel like supporting us with some more tools, we're going with Dewalt tools, go for it. But here's what it is, we're at the, we're over there in this area, it's dangerous, and you hear giant explosions, okay? I'm talking buildings shaking, we were in this building, uh, it's like a mansion, some of these mansions they have there in Gaza, and it, it, we just got out and the building was like shaking and the glass falling and, okay, fire on the roof of, these, of this building, and you know, so I'm pretty used to all this stuff, but let me tell you what, just after that, okay, there's four terrorists come out of this tunnel, same tunnel we were just at, terrorists come out, four of them, they're trying to head towards Israel, what, do they want to take more hostages? Enough's enough. No, you're not getting any more hostages. No. Okay, three of them get taken out by, by IDF. Okay, one escapes, but they did take the life of a hero. One of our guys died. And it's it, and I'm just feeling this verse, this uh, Psalms 118, verse 17. It's holding on to it. It's people say, how are, you hold, how are you holding up? I say, well, I'm holding on to this, uh, what King David said, I shall not die but I shall live and declare the works of the God of Israel. It is worrisome what's going on in the north. I'll tell you that, the northern border is really, really heating up. Uh, Hezbollah rockets, burn, they're, they're, they're igniting fires, they're hitting houses. They just, uh, a UAV flew over from Hezbollah terror group and uh, what is it, injuring 11 people, some of them severely. I don't know how many have died from that. Right in the Galilee, my family's there. And so they have deadly capabilities, very accurate, striking, better than Hamas and Izzaldin al Qassam and Islamic Jihad and, and, and so on. They are good. And what happened there in Herfish, it's in the Galilee, and uh, they're going to make the Druze mad. If they kill Druze, see, we're together here, the Bedouins, the Druze, the Jews, uh, Christians. When they've shot about 4,000 projectiles at Israel, they're increasingly uh, getting good at hitting uh, high value targets with their arsenal. They used to have older weapons, but they've upgraded. They have the top of the top that they brought there. There's no one there to stop them from getting more and more and more. So pray as it's heating up. It's like a powder keg. It could be any day, any minute that Lebanon three war breaks out. They might even use dumb, their dumb rockets just to get everyone to run to a certain place and then use a precision rocket to hit that place. But you know what they'll never be able to do? 
is destroy Israel. Because it says, Jeremiah 31 verse 10, Hear, O Israel, the word of the Lord, O nations, declare it in the coastlands far away. He who scattered Israel will gather Israel and keep him like a shepherd keeps his flock. And this shepherd, the God of Israel, doesn't let those wolves, those bears, those lions take his young lambs. And we're going to rescue the young lambs as well because we are good shepherds too. God bless you. Don't be a fool. Stand with Israel and bring your whole hood.